Hello Los Ranchos, Teresa Tree here, Miss Tree here, February 5th. Today is a good day to turn the compost pile. These compost piles behind me need to be flipped. They need to get air in them. You also add water to them. And your two main ingredients are called the greens and the browns. Browns means things that are dry and greens are things that are more on the fresh side of life and you also want life in your compost piles that means you want the worms and the roly polies and other little critters to be in there okay so what i'm doing is dismantling taking apart this compost pile and flipping it into this other one layer by layer all right so you got the dry layer which is all this straw and uh, then this rich layer that's already started to break down is going to go on here next. Think about like lasagna or a cake, layer by layer by layer. And that's how you build compost piles. And here's an example of things that you don't put in your compost pile. Stuff that has gone to seed. You don't want uh, weed seeds in the compost pile because they could still live and grow back into your garden. You don't want stuff that's too big. Big corn stalks didn't decompose and of course these big branches are way too big for a compost pile. You want small little pieces. Okay, so in this compost pile you can see that it hasn't broken down all the way. There's still a lot of sticks and twigs in there and leaves that haven't decomposed. So that's why we're flipping it over here, layering it. So that it will decompose with the help of all these little creepy crawly critters in the soil. And this end product that we want will resemble soil itself. Alright, the end product of compost is a carbon and a nitrogen rich soil amendment. Like a fertilizer that we will then put back into the garden. So yeah, it brings nitrogen and it brings life to the soil, but it also brings back carbon into the soil. So the, the carbon is all the brown stuff, like the straw and the leaves. And a lot of the earth is made up of carbon. Trees are carbon, wood is carbon, paper is carbon. Uh, that's a building block. And then nitrogen is like energy source that helps create proteins and cells so you need both okay so we're making like a good nutrition a good soil amendment like a nutritional supplement for the soil okay I'm getting down towards the bottom of the pile and I'm adding it and making a new pile see how nice and neat you can see the layers and layers and layers you want the whole layer to be covered so that the next layer then covers that layer like icing on the cake. And one thing I'm noticing is this pile still has a lot of carbon materials in it. it. Still has a lot of twigs. And those are from the fava beans and also from the corn stalks and from the leaves. So you gotta make sure you get your ratio right. And you don't want man-made items in your compost pile. I found all these little pieces of plastic little plant labels and a rubber band and food wrappers twisty tie you zip zip tie you don't want those in your compost pile only natural materials browns and greens and the other ingredient that you want is water so this is rainwater that's collected in the wheelbarrow so I'm going to scoop it out and put water on top Okay, now I'm getting towards the top of the pile. I wanted to point out that there's some other things that you can't see in here that are very important in decomposition. You could actually see it on this leaf. It's called mold. Your bread gets moldy, leaves get moldy, your oranges and fruit can get moldy. And that's a good thing. And same thing with bacteria. There's good bacteria and, and uh, fungus. That's the things that make mushrooms but they grow in the ground and spread out called mycelia so fungus and bacteria and mold are good 
little microorganisms they're so small you can't see them even with the microscope it's very difficult virus is another thing that is microscopic that you can't see that we're all trying to fight right now all right so i'm going to top off this compost pile with the bottom at the bottom is basically the soil okay so i'm going to use that on the very tip top of this compost pile it's like a blanket to keep it warm and that start decomposing and having the decomposition take place for the rest of the pile and i'll add some more water too so water air and life forms including fungus bacteria invertebrates that's all the little uh cr critters that crawl around and then the browns and the greens, the leaves and the straw and the leftover food, they make a compost pile. I hope you have one at home. Goodbye, the insect is finding its home. Stay healthy and happy and smart and start a compost pile at home if you don't have one already. Bye. Okay. Adiós, amigos.